So your advisor has probably told you, or is currently telling you, just go to the literature. What does the literature say? Just keep reading literature. And you're like, okay, I read a lot, but how do I actually organize this before I can even start to synthesize it? Organizing what you're reading is extremely challenging. I am a huge fan of annotated bibliographies. This is mine from my dissertation, and you can see, A, it's 24 pages, um, but it's also based on headings. So if it was about teacher evaluation or effectiveness, it was here. You can see I have the APA citation, and then I have my notes. What did they say that mattered to me and to my study? Why was this one important? And there were ones that I probably went back and reread because I needed to understand more about whatever this is. The other thing I will show you um, is that when I had those gems, those quotes that you're like, hell yeah, that's exactly what I need. I have the site, I have this. Put the page number. For APA in-text citations, you have to have the page number. So all of these that I quoted for myself that I wanted to potentially use and I ended up using in my dissertation, I had to go find the article, find the quote, and write down the page number. So there's tip number one. You can also see that when it comes to the next part, I have a gap, a nice heading, and it just keeps scanning. There are definitely ones that you can see mattered more. There's just a lot more information that I included in my notes. I like Word docs because I can manipulate them. I can move things around. I feel more in control. I've seen people do very similar things with Excel docs um, or Excel sheets, and it works really beautifully. If you like online, Google online bibliography, there's all kinds of things. Some of them are free, some of them are not free. A lot of these, when you're searching your literature, it will have like a plugin over here and you can click, I want this article imported in here. You can make your notes and it's very interactive and that can be really helpful. But it doesn't matter. You gotta figure out how to organize yourself. So in my literature folder, I have articles that I knew were my gold, and I went through and actually downloaded them, ones that I even noted this needs to be printed because I'm going to be using it all the time. I had new editions that I had to go back through and look for, so I did that, and I have a whole new editions bibliography based on revisions wanted, and then I have my stuff folder because I lost all creativity on what to call things. Um, and you can see I have my notes on my concept maps, my frameworks, different things, um, and my bibliography was right here. So again, there's not a right or wrong way to do it. Figure out what works for you.